Thomas Wetherill's Blue is our first show next year. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go. Yeah. Do you want to tell us about your play? Yeah, sure. I, I don't mean to be rude, but I did make some notes because I, did, I always I find it kind of tricky talking about Blue because I don't want to give away the plot because it does unravel kind of as you watch it, but also it's a really personal and kind of very private project that I never quite intended to reach this kind of scale. Um, I didn't really think it was going to make it out of my bedroom, so, you know, but Blue tells the story of Mark, and he's a young man who is struggling with the process of growing up and moving forward, and we meet him at this point in his life where he's kind of forced to examine some personal and familial grief and kind of look into those really ugly and tough parts of his life and, you know, the kind of things that he's been pushing aside up until this moment and really try and make sense of them. Um, the blue and the use of the ocean is kind of a constant backdrop to the play and it's something that I've always kind of used as a connection to or more so um, representation of both Mark and my own life and, you know, kind of this beautiful chaos that is the ocean and, you know, this journey and tumultuous nature of life that both... I feel myself and Mark have been going through these past few months. But um, the play deals with some really heavy stuff. It's quite a hard one to get through. It's um, love and life and grief and death, mental health and really kind of the question of, you know, how do we find the strength to continue on when all the odds kind of seem completely stacked against you? Um, Thomas has been the Balnaves Fellow, so we, we read this play, um, I don't, you know, like, I've, again, time, what's time? Um, uh, but, but we are, like, instantly struck by, look, you can see there's an age difference between us, standing side by side, but I wish I had the wisdom and self-possession that Thomas has. This is a, a play of extraordinary depth. It's an exquisite monologue um, uh, that is performed with several other performers. Um, uh, You've been the the, uh, the Balnaves Fellow, and yet um, Thomas has also been incredibly busy starring in, I mean, pretty much every new Australian television show that's been shooting in the last six months. So he's been coming and going quite a lot. He's also in it, as well as having written it. Um, I'm very pleased to announce that it's being directed by one of the great alumni of Bangara Dance, Deborah Brown, making her directing debut here. Um, uh, and a really, really fabulous uh, team of creatives, uh, including um, Jacob Nash, Chloe Ogilvie, Will Hughes, um, uh, all, um, all fantastic Indigenous creatives. Um, uh, the last thing I need to say about it is um, uh, it's exquisitely beautiful. Uh, it's, it's part of our collab uh, ongoing collaborations with Sydney Festival. Thomas, please take a seat. <laughs>